in this problem, we have a cube of gelatin that we're pushing with a force F. We're told that the sides of this cube are all 6.2 centimeters and that its shear modulus is 1,100 pascals. We're also told that when pushing it, it gets, uh, has a delta X of 0.47 centimeters. The cube moves by 0.47 centimeters. So when we push it, it tilts over. Say so this is kind of the final arrangement. So this, right here, is delta x, how much it goes over. Now, we're asked to find the force F to cause this. Now, we use the formula F over A equals S delta x over L. Okay. This L is our length, 6.2 centimeters. Delta X is the amount it's pushed over, which is 0.47 centimeters. S, 1100 pascals. F, what we're looking for. A, the area of the side that we're pushing on. So, all we have to do is figure out the area of the side. It's a cube, so it's pretty easy. It's just length times length. The length is the same. It's going to be 6.2 centimeters squared. Okay. So, We'll put in, let's solve for our F, which is what we want. F equals S delta X A over L. Okay, let's plug in our knowns. Um, actually, let's sum in for A first. Delta X A is going to be L times L, so L squared over L. One of those L's cancels, so we're left with S delta X L. One of these L's cancelled with the square. So, S, 1100 pascals, delta X is 0.47 centimeters. So, let's write that in meters, which is 0 0.0047 meters. We move the decimal place 2 over to get to meters. And our length is 6.2 centimeters. Again, write that in meters. So we get 0 0.062 meters. So we plug that all in, multiply it all together. We get an answer of 0.32, that's after rounding, 0.32 newtons. That is the force needed to push that cube of gel. Final answer.